This is how you replace the igniter in a Green Mountain grill ledge or peak. You're going to need a 7 millimeter nut driver, a 10 millimeter nut driver, string, hoist the size of the igniter cord, electrical tape, scissors, and your new igniter, which is 12 volt. First, unplug the smoker. Next, you're going to need to remove everything from the smoker. Vacuum out your fire pot and go ahead and vacuum out the rest of the smoker. Remove your antenna, remove the 7mm bolts and pull the control panel out. Remove the 10mm bolts and the grating from underneath. Undo the twist tie holding the cord from the igniter. Locate the power connector and pull the bullet plugs out. Tie your string and then wrap it with electrical tape and make sure it's nice and tight. You may need to jiggle the igniter to get it loose. Then you can start pulling it out. If it gets hung up, go underneath and help push it through. Pull the igniter through until you see the taped end. Now remove the tape and cut the string off. Tie your string onto the new igniter. Wrap it with electrical tape. Start pulling on the string and help fish it through from the other end. Once you get the electrical tape end through, you can go ahead and pull that through where the control panel is. Now plug in your bullet connectors. It doesn't matter which one goes where. Reattach your twist tie. Reinstall your control panel with the 7mm bolts. Put your antenna back on. Put your grate back on. Reinstall the 10mm bolts. Grab some pellets and dump them into the fire pot to help prime the system. Plug the smoker back in. Hit the power button, let the sequence start. The auger will feed some pellets into the fire pot and then your igniter will kick on. You should be able to see some smoke starting. Once the fan kicks on, you should see flames and allow the smoker to go through its sequence get to 150 degrees for 10 minutes hit the power button and allow fan mode to kick on. For more videos, follow Dr. Smoke on YouTube.